Okay, in today's video, we're going to take a look at um, designing structures using Wanger flanges. Now, I got a really good question the other day there. Uh, someone was saying that um, they want to draw structures uh, to build Wanger flanges out. Let me give you an example like this, for example. I've done a drawn very simple um, square. So uh, if they draw a square like this, uh, Wanger flanges go on the end, so this piece of pipe, timber, whatever, what length is that going to be? What effectively it is, is what's the offset from the corner to the edge of the pipe? Uh, it, really interesting question because it's and not that much of a straightforward answer. Uh, what we do first is we draw like a paper model. This is just the basic geometry with the corners and flat faces. So you can uh, draw any shape you want, but you want to draw it like this to start with. Uh, and then what we have to do is, we have to work out how to get to this. Uh, what each This is a very simple structure, but this doesn't necessarily have to have the same length struts. Um, it could have, uh, it could be a totally different shape, uh, but the principle is the same. So what we have here is we need to work out this what this offset is. What we've got here is this is the 90 degrees we're looking at. This is the face of the 90 degrees and we've got a measurement, an offset measurement of 31 millimeters. That's all fairly straightforward. But if you have a different face angle, that offset changes. Uh, a 20 degree angle has a much bigger offset. That's about 104 millimeters. Whereas the 90 degree one was 31 millimeters. So what I've done is I've produced a chart little spreadsheet here Which tells you the offsets. So this is in millimeters. Uh, so a 20 20 degree Offset will have a hundred and four millimeters offset um, and a 90 degree as 31 so this gives you all of the um, Offsets at five degree intervals now if we go back to the drones you notice that this is a oval, so that gives you some wiggle room. Let me just select this. So there is a wee bit of wiggle room there, like, like that. So you don't have to be super accurate. Measure that, and that happens to be 500 millimeters. So what's the offset? We know that it's two, it's an offset at both sides, 31 millimeters at this side and 31 millimeters at this side. So that gives you a strut length of 438 millimeters. Now I'll, I'll probably put this together in Imperial. So if you're from the States, don't panic. I'll let, I'll get, give us a, a wee chance and I'll, I'll try and do an Imperial version. But what I'll do is I'll, I'll uh, maybe put a link to the, to the spreadsheet or a PDF or something that tells you all the offset angles that you need. <clears throat> It goes from 20 degrees to 120 degrees. Okay, one last example is this here. So obviously this structure here isn't um, stable. Uh, if you leave the, the bolts loose, it will fall over because it's not triangulated. So it's much better to have a fully triangulated structure. And this gives a good example of a triangulated structure. We have two types of hub. Uh, one this is this one has let's count them one two three four five six six uh, struts join at one hub and this one only three join at one hub so we've got two different types and we've also got two different lengths of um, strut okay what we need to do now what we need to do is find what the offsets are going to be let's look at this again closely we know that this is um, 45 degrees because it's a 90 degree split in half and we know that this is the um, same as we did before 31 you know that's a 31 millimeter offset so this strut here let's this one here it has a 31 millimeter offset at the side but if you look here this is not 90s, so this is more than 31. That's, we know that it's 45 degrees, so this is a 53 millimeters offset. So we have, get the calculator out, 
31 plus 53 uh, that's 84 that gives a strut length of 416 millimeters let's just check that it's down in the bottom corner you can't see it but it's 416 millimeters so that's different from this one which was 438 so this one's slightly shorter and then this one one across the top has again 45 this uh, this face is 45 this face is 45 45 53 plus 53 is 106 from this corner to this corner is 707 so that means this this strut should be 601 601 exactly yeah so that uh, I've tested everything so that all you need is the spreadsheet uh, to do with millimeters give us a chance and I'll try and get that in, in Imperial uh, and look for a PDF link in the description and that'll, that'll take you to the uh, it's a very simple thing it, it goes from 20 degrees up to uh, 120 in 5 degree intervals don't worry about uh, being absolute uh, absolutely accurate because like I said before this is an oval and it will that'll wiggle a wee bit that'll wiggle back and forwards and this one will wiggle up and down so there is um, enough for to, for allowance but what you need is you need to find out what this measurement should be in order to get all of your um, struts at, at least uh, near enough to the right measurement because if you have no clue what that is it makes this nearly impossible to build uh, because you can't go from this because you have to have an extra fitting in here and it's like how do you get the measurement for that so simply use the off uh, find out what the ang face angle is and the offset take that off one side find out what the face angle is on the other side and take that offset off and that keeps you right with your wang of flange uh, spacings any questions drop them into the um, comment section below and I'll catch you in the next one